Good evening, welcome to the News at 10. A lot to get to tonight and we begin with this surrounding the ongoing pandemic in our region. Just days after the West Ada School District instituted a mask mandate that parents can opt out of, nearly a quarter of their students in the district went to school today without masks. It's a topic that was in front of the Caldwell School District, which held a special board meeting about its ongoing COVID concerns. We're going to have more on those stories in a moment. But first, Governor Brad Little is making a move in hopes of stemming the tide on Idaho's rising hospitalization numbers. And he's doing it by opening three antibody treatment centers. The treatment uh, involves therapeutic medications that the governor says are proven to be effective in preventing serious illness of COVID. The hope is that the treatment will help preserve Idaho's hospital capacity, which is now near record levels by preventing serious illness. Patients visiting the treatment centers must have a referral from a doctor, but it is free. The plan now is to open one in each section of the state in the Treasure Valley, one in North Idaho and one in the eastern side of the state. Now back to the schools. We have been following a special board meeting in, in the Caldwell School District all day. Three schools, Caldwell High, Lincoln Elementary and Washington Elementary are all requiring masks right now. At Caldwell High School, 10% of its student population is out due to COVID. And in their district, if a school reaches that mark, then the administrators convene to discuss what their next steps will be in keeping students and staff safe. And that's exactly what school administrators did tonight. Our Tristan Lewis listened in on that meeting and is here now with the latest. Tristan. The three schools are out masking up for the next week or so because of the increased absences. One school has a little over 20% of their students out. Now, that could be just from quarantines from being in contact with a COVID positive person, or it could be from other illnesses or doctor appointments. But whatever it is, school leaders are concerned because they're already seeing this year's number match some of last year's. And it's only been a little more than a week since school began. Eight days into the school year at Caldwell School District and concerns over high absences have put mass requirements over three campuses. Caldwell High School, Washington Elementary and Lincoln Elementary. We are though going to follow the CDC guidance and our healthcare professionals whom we trust. They understand um, more about epidemiology than I do and I will, you know, I'll lean on them and I appreciate that their willingness to support the district and the decisions and and to do what's best for the children. Superintendent Dr. Shalene French says concern started last week at Lincoln Elementary. Washington Elementary and Caldwell High started seeing those same concerns. Students out sick or in quarantine from being in contact with others who had COVID-19. The concern was we would be, if we did not take action, we would be exceeding 25% uh, absenteeism based on us needing to quarantine. Under the school district's current school of operation plan, a student or staff member who has tested positive for COVID-19 or has shown signs of symptoms is advised to quarantine at home. Students or staff that have been in contact with them are also advised to quarantine. If a close contact was wearing a mask at the time of exposure, they do not have to quarantine at home. They are, however, asked to continue wearing a mask and monitor for symptoms. Our goal is to be in school, and we're going to do everything we can to keep, keep kids in school. Out of the 309 students enrolled at Lincoln, 65 students were absent as of Thursday. Washington Elementary has 74 of their 513 student population out, and over at Caldwell High School, who physically counts their more than 1,300 students every day, only counted 1,105 Thursday. The principal at Caldwell High says she's heard from parents and families about the temporary requirement, and for the most part, it's been positive. Well, I think that when teachers, students, and parents realize that a face covering is a mitigating factor and can protect students and keep them in school more, um, keep them in school learning, um, that it is a small price to pay. 
Now, the school board plans to meet again on Monday to continue more discussion on the school operation plan. Superintendent French says more principals are expected to give the data on their schools, and that will give the board a better idea of what's happening on all campuses. Now, no word if Monday's discussion involves having the entire district mask up temporarily. Mark? Those are sobering numbers indeed. Tristan, thanks.